All right, folks. Nathan here. This is my channel. Lots of Star Wars stuff on the channel, but I also, of course, do these PlayStation VR Let's Plays anytime I get a new game, because I want to give you a chance to see what it's like, whether or not it's worth your money, etc., etc. Today we're checking out Arizona Sunshine. This is my third stream of the day, actually. Um, we did one for Ancient Emulator just recently, and then did one for Arizona Sunshine using two move controllers, which will be probably the main way that a lot of people play. But this is a game that was also designed for the PlayStation VR aim controller, and that's what we want to check out now. I've gone into settings already, turned on regular walking motion as opposed to teleport. Teleport's what you use with the uh, VR controllers, or the VR controls, the move controllers. And I've gone ahead and thrown in campaigns, so we are ready to go. I aim. For what it's worth, I am using... Now, on this menu, you're not using a du dual-wield weapon or a double-handed weapon, but I'm using the top of the triggers for my left hand to do this. And I need to make sure I'm lined up right. And choose one player. Two... Yeah, there you go. Mode. You have different modes you could choose. Two-handed weapons. Which is going to be what lets me use this. So you have different modes on the campaign. You're going to get a somewhat different experience depending on whether you're using the aim controller for two-handed weapons or the move controllers for single-handed weapons. So here we are, right back at the... <sighs> but instead of a pistol... Oh, man. There's a rifle. Oh, oh no, it's my whoa. buddy's head. Good morning there, ugly. What's up there, ugly? Well... All right. I also have a one, only one I hand guess, uh, showing because, of course, I can't track my left friend. hand. Put you out of your misery. Oh. Okay. So Where point, is my gun? Not look, but point. And it lights up. Okay. That may be what my issue was with the uh, move controller because what I was trying to do frequently was to reach down and press the button. Maybe I need to point and push the button. Point the orb at it. Uh, anyway, press to pick up. You notice here it is again. The top button, Locked left and hand. And now this I've got my threat. disembodied hands holding a rifle. Nice. Shoot the head. Damn. Well, hey, Damn. I'm sorry things didn't work out between us, buddy. But, uh, I'm out of here. What, what can I say? All right. Move around. I do have the incremental turning still turned on, and you can change the angle of that. I have it on 60 right now. Oh, shit. Damn, Freddy. Damn, Freddy. Got you good, didn't I? Sorry, oh, Freddy. Gotta get going, buddy. Okay. Let's start the day. Hey. Ooh, my ammo belt. That's Hello. Hope it still fits. I'm on a strict diet these days, you know? Lots of walking and canned food. Telling me again. Ooh, still got some ammunition left too. Nice Let's stock this baby pulling up. Pulling in those magazines, I didn't have to put them on my belt or use any motion this time, which is good. And eject the spent is going to be hitting square. Yeah. All right. Time for some target practice. Ah. All right. Problem being that my hands are shaky as shit. Well, my hands are shaky on this. Because that's just kind of the way that PSVR games go. Alright, so I want to aim. Wow. There we go. That's some shitty aim in there, son. Ah, there you guys are. I was starting to get a little lonely. Does not feel so as what's precise. What's up, dudes? You know the rules, though. Don't get too close. Um, what you call it? As a far point yet? Like I'm trying to figure out the aiming reticle here. Like, I can hit their bodies just fine. Popping their heads. Hey, don't get too close. Guys, a different story. what did I just say? Don't get too close. Hmm. 
make sure this has me centered correctly. It's like standing right in front of me and I can't fucking hit him. Come on. You happy now? Yeah, this is gonna take some. Didn't practice. have to go down like this, you know. You could have sat Actually down, lining up the had reticles, a nice cup of coffee, to line up it that, through, but no, without the iron sights. All right, well that was fun. Well, I guess we're done here. Let's head out to that bridge I saw downstream yesterday. Whoa, sixty degree turn may be a bit much. I may need to turn that down. Can run though, which is nice. All right, boys. Yeah, that is damn difficult. What's up, buddy? Oh, hell no. Maybe it's that I'm overthinking it when I'm trying to line it up. Could be. I'm not sure if that was that I perfect that I've uh, improved my ability, or if it's simply that um, I just walked up the ladder, by the way, or if it's simply that I got lucky on those last few. All right, so how am I gonna do this? I uh, just hold and push. Cool. Not bad. This is interesting, though, this being the second game that can actually use the uh, aim. It does feel somewhat different than Farpoint's precision. I think it's because of the placement of the sights and being able to use those. Whereas usually you weren't lining up a sight in front and back. In far point. Usually. What's up, darling? So damn hot. And Freddy over here trying to get a tan. Hey, Freddy, come on. Got her. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I got her. Let's see, what does this even look like on the end? Okay, so I'm looking for. Oh no, don't try this at home. Okay, looking for that top notch, basically, or that middle notch that I'm not seeing very well. All right, buddies. Also, rather easy though with the move to a. Uh, if you eject a magazine, or a, yeah, a magazine that's still got something in it, to very easily pick it back up again because you're not doing the motion thing. Again, that may be because maybe I wasn't pressing it just hey, right previously. A radio. Not interact, but essentially looking at it All first. Right. Let's see if this still works. <laughs> it's my own face. Is something, but I'm worried. Damn it! I didn't explore right. over here last time. Think, Is there anything think, over think. here? I need to find another radio. I gotta get to the source of this. All right, let's do it then. Wow, I really do need to change my turning radius. That 60 degree turning radius is kind of a bitch. Man, hit him in the head. I mean, I'm taking him down, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Brains, brains. Everybody wants brains. Everybody's bitching about wanting brains. Gonna run out of bullets at some point. What's up? Just kill him. Don't take 20 damn bullets to do it. Just kill it. Hi. 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 Hold up. Because it's not just, whew, my hands are just getting me. It's not that you're aiming through this, you gotta have that. Or up close and poisonal. Look at all these cars. Looks like they all went running from a horde. Well, speaking of the bastards. We got a runner. And another runner. Man. Hey, you got that one. What's up? Howdy. Whew. That took quite a bit of ammo. Let's see if I can find some more in these cars. Damn, bitch. Stay away from me. I am out of fucking ammo. I'm dead. I don't have any ammo left. I'm not sure how to use my grenade either. Mother. Did it ever say how to use a grenade? I don't think so. I picked it up, but I picked it up so fast that I picked it up with all that ammo. And if there was a context thing, a quick little tip that showed up to tell me how to somehow throw the grenade with your two-handed aim controller. I certainly didn't see it. I'm trying to get back to that place I was in the last stream because I want to be able to see if there's another two-handed weapon that I can show on the one stream. Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm just wasting this ammo. Cars. Looks like they all went running from a horde. Speaking of. 
Well, speaking of the bastards... Speaking of wasting ammo, shit. Seriously? Back to no ammo again. I don't think I have a melee attack. Or a... Yep. Itch. Whew. That took quite a bit of ammo. Yes, it did. Let's see if I can find some more in these cars. Yep. We'll find some back here. Okay. Let's try this very methodically. And it didn't show me anything. If it did, it just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Yeah, I don't know how to use the grenade. It, and I have no bullets again. Motherfucker. Because I'm just burning through bullets because I can't hit headshots with shit. Alright, we'll try this one more time and then I'm done. At least for now. Whole idea was to give you a chance to see the different motion control schemes. I know there is one for the DualShock 4 controller, but really people are going to be playing with this with lifting up the DualShock and pointing it at the TV screen. Thirty shots. I do like being able to actually control my movement, which is nice. She gonna come up here like she did last time? No. Interesting. Two shots instead of one. Two shots instead of one. Still two shots instead of one that close. Look at all these cars. Looks like they all went running from a horde. Looks like they all went running from a horde. Well, speaking Weed of the bastards... Forty shots. I can apparently holster it. Not sure how that exactly works. Oh, there you go. Maybe I should not think of this as using the sights. Twenty-eight shots left. So wonky. Whoop. Seriously, four shots for that guy. And two shots for that guy. Whew. That took quite a bit of ammo. Let's Whoop. see if I can find some more in these cars. Uh, well I will, but there are more zombies coming. Shit, that guy is, like, actually behind me. Like, behind me, as in if I turn around 
to kill him, the PSVR will not be able to see me, so I need to move out here so I can go fast enough to do a quick turn thing. Shit, totally out. Probably gonna die. I gotta get used to how the aim works on this one because it is definitely a bit less accurate feeling than for Farpoint. Seriously, three shots at that range. Awesome. Okay. And I'm down to no bullets again. Awesome. Time to die. What you got? Yeah, and I won't get to another... Fred once again brought all his friends. Maybe I can get around here. Maybe I can, because I sure as hell don't have any ammo to use. Go! Got stuck on a rock. Go! Hmm. Go, motherfucker! Go! I gotta check out that. Okay, apparently you can't walk to the thing. There's an invisible wall in the way. If you don't take out those zombies, you wind up being stopped. All right, so anyway, so you get a chance to see it in motion. Um, I definitely feel like for the, the aim controller, this is not uh, as precise a feel as what I got when playing Farpoint, um, possibly because of, I mean, in my case, I mean, maybe it's just a vision thing. Uh, I was having a very hard time being able to somehow line up the front and back iron sights on this thing, given the jitteriness of, I don't know if it's my hands or the controller or both. Usually it's a, li it's a little jittery anyway, but being able to actually line up both sights to have an accurate shot is pretty damn difficult, um, for me at least. Um, way more difficult than it was playing Farpoint. Um, that said, curious. Holding it out like that. That said, you know, I mean, it's still fun as a shooter. I do think this is one that, despite the fact that the aim is available for it, you're probably going to want to play it with the two move controllers. Or treat it as two completely separate modes, as the game does, and just consider it as if you just got an aim game and a dual-wielding move game that just happened to be in the same package. Um, I am eager to continue playing, but yeah, I'm probably going to mostly be playing with the move, um, from what I can tell, rather than the aim, which is very disappointing, given the fact that the main reason I was interested in this game at all was that the aim controller would be supported, um, whereas thus far the only other thing you could use the aim with, um, as one actually with a, that as part of the initial design from day one was, of course... Far point. So, uh, take it or leave it. It is a $40 game if you pick this up digitally. So, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, kind of take it or leave it as far as the price tag goes. Um, but, I mean, it's a fun shooter. It's just that, again, the aim is not quite as useful. Or, it just has a steeper learn. We'll put it this way. This probably has a steeper learning curve. Look at all these cars. Than in other Looks like they all went running from a instances horde. like Farpoint. I'm going to give one last shot to the few that come out here and just make sure that. Well, you know, speaking of the bastards. Give one last check to the aiming and then call it a day. So bring it on so we can say goodbye. Even with his head coming straight at me, I couldn't shoot the head. I was able to shoot the head on the last shot, but only because I stopped aiming with the reticles. That one I was able to do 
because I was actually able... That, I guess, is what's happening for me, is it's shaking so much that being able to actually see when the reticles are lined up is damn near impossible. Like, you almost need to line up the reticle at the end of the iron sight first and then move the other one. Uh-oh, no bullets in line with it. All right. So while they walk over and... Oh, you can walk out of the range. Awesome. While they're walking over and trying to kill me, I will say adieu. Um, may check out the DualShock 4 version of this in Farpoint at some point in the near future as Let's Plays. But for now, you can check out this one again for PSVR AIM. Kill me! Um, but then you also, of course, have the one just done recently for the move.